Bring it home the bacon. What you out? hats. The winner will have the option of Eat and Grin logo or the Underbite logo. Uh, just comment shared, share to Facebook, Instagram, and we'll do a list of people who commented shared because I did not list anybody who did not comment shared. And we'll do a random number generator, pick a winner. I was asked to uh, go over some tips and techniques on one eye tog fish, and this video is about using a spinning rod over a conventional rod. One of the things I prefer about the spinning rod is the fact that with a species that digs straight down, the rod has more bend. It'll flex, you'll get a better curve. And by doing that, you're taking that stress off the line, the tackle, the knot, and also placement of the hook in the fish. I've seen time after time, guys on my boat, high stick that rod, which you do want to high stick on, on the initial hookup with a blackfish. But once that fish is hooked, you, you got to start bringing down, especially if it's a really big fish, you got to bow to the cow. You know, once he's up out of the rocks, get your rod down, keep a bend in that rod. And if you have your drag set correctly, is another important thing. So this is 15 pound test. Most of my rods are uh, spun up with either 20 pound, 15, I have like one or two with 10. I usually don't fish those. Um, big thing is I make sure when I grab my braid that I grab it and I can pull. You just heard that? So I had to pull significantly hard. Not so hard that I'm gonna snap my tip trying to pull this line, but hard enough that there is decent resistance you know, you really don't want it like this loose. That's, that's too loose, I pull that very easily. On a big fish, he's just gonna run right into the rocks. So, big thing is making sure you have your drag dialed in. Uh, in this video, you're gonna see uh, my buddy Mark, he, he hooks up with a nice fish, it's over seven pounds, and he's high sticking. And I tell him, Mark, don't high stick it, you could lose it, so then you'll see him drop the rod down and just keep the bend. In the next video, I hook up with a really big tog. This, this tog takes my rod right down to the water and it's rip and drag. Um, so that's two important things. Another thing is the rod size. <clears throat> With bigger fish, I mean, I've had guys tease me and make fun of me. One of them is my good buddy, Mike Sadowski. He, uh, he was telling me, oh, I didn't know it was that big. I didn't know it would break my rod, you know, because he saw these St. Croix. These guys are rocking Cal Stars customs, you know, and they're almost twice as thick as my rod. These guys are pulling up, you know, 15, 16, 20 pound top. I haven't pulled that up yet. Uh, so that is something I will experience one day and hopefully my rod doesn't break. But in my experience, uh, you want a rod that is at minimum medium heavy, minimum. Yeah, I mean, you could rock a medium, but I think on a bigger fish, there's a good chance that rod's gonna snap. Uh, I've snapped rods in the past that were medium. Um, so our rig in this video and the next video was a single hook. Uh, when I was in Rhode Island, uh, the captain on, on that charter told me, basically, this is how everyone fishes down there. They don't do a 12 inch, like a long hook loop. They do like a four inch hook loop. And I'm only about two inches up from my knot on my, on my sinker loop. Uh, to me, the tog are right there in the bottom. They're hanging out low. Uh, with this kind of placement, the way it's set, it, it's just dangling that crab right there, it, you know, in their strike zone. The, the bigger fish, are, they, they're not gonna move around, swim around like a striper. They're just hanging out, they come along in on the scent, and then bang, they're right on the, on the crab. Full crabs, no problem. Uh, when I hook a single hook set up, I do go through one claw socket 
And if I can't make it out the other claw socket because it's a bigger crab, I'll come out just behind that claw socket through the body. Um, 5-0 is uh, by far, I think, the best hook. Octopus, uh, I'm using owners. I've had Gami snap on me, so I go with owner. And, and that's pretty much it as far as, uh, you know, when it comes to the spinning rod. And in my opinion, the spinning rod is a lot more fun. It, it, even a lighter tackle, when, when you're fishing uh, some of the smaller fish, it, it's so much more fun than a conventional rod. When they peel that drag and take a run on you, you can hear the excitement. You're gonna laugh at me in this video. I get excited with every fish I catch. I'm like a little kid. I love it. I can't help myself. <laughs> but uh, let's get to the fishing. Tight lines, guys. I wanna find Go, go! Ooh! Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is a good one. You got a good one, too. Oh, boy. Uh, trying to. This was a big bait. I mean, this is, feels like a keeper. Like a cameraman. See him? Look, he's swimming right at it. See, he's swimming right at it. Gary, scoop him. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Nice, nice camera skills. I'm getting whacked. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh boy. This is a good one. Oh, he's digging hard. This is the best one yet. This is a little bigger. Oh, bro, this one's, dude, this one's taking drag, Mark. We need a net. Oh, oh. Forget about him. Just get the net, get the net, get the net. Come on. This one still got a lot of fight. It's strong. It's strong. Here he comes. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here he comes. Got him. That was a good one. Nice one. Dude, I barely had him hooked. Look at his chin, bro. Look. How about a weight? Oh, it's cute. Bring him up. Nice. Yeah, you gotta know. You can tell that's a big fish. You should be able to tell by now. What, what you do is what a big you just, fish. Yeah, but yeah. No, you want a net decent fish. Oh, that's a nice one. That's like a six. That's like, that's like, that's not a seven. That's like a six. Six, yeah. That looks, that, look, that looks real good. That's a net. Yeah, looking by your bend, yes. I'm coming. Is my top camera on? Lights on? Yep. Okay. My face. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Okay. There he comes. Okay. Bring him to me. Nice. Swam him right at the camera. Perfect. I think I just lost it. Okay. Whoa, this is a big one, Mark. Mark. Yes. You heard, you, heard, you heard the drag? It's decent. It's not huge, but it's, it took a whole crab. He's heavy. Oh, God. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. Calm down. <laughs> Sound like I'm having sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of I enjoy it similarly <laughs> okay here he comes oh boy swim in good nice fish oh boy oh boy it's a good one <laughs> It's a nice one. 
should should have brought me fucking. Oh, it's a keeper, female. All right. It's uh, 17 all day. I'm gonna throw her back though. We're gonna release this beauty. Here you go, mama. We'll lay some eggs, girl. Shake your ass. Ooh. Is it good? It looks it's got a nice bend. She was swimming into the current. But he doesn't want to go back in. Is it a good one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to fight. You must have your drag tight, bro. Uh, you're on a big fish, you don't want your drag tight like that. Or your spout hook. Come up. I got him. Nice. You brought him right to the camera. Good nice, job. Nice size. Mm. You hooked him, hooked him perfect. In the cheek. That's the one I missed. You're welcome. I think that's the one I missed before you, though. No, no. You never you didn't even know it was there. Alright. It was my, my the scent of my manliness that drew him in oh bro that's a nice good fish that's why the drag's tight baby oh you're a nut swimming he's swimming why would he do that oh man this guy's swimming there he is he's big bring him up bring him up bring him up bring him up good nice fish <laughs> that's seven pounds that's come on come on come on i get back down there doing my dance bro get in trouble for dancing yeah we'll do these two baits and then we're gonna relocate oh really we got you big mama so at first i was just being silly when i heard that radio check then i realized what was actually going on but a half an hour earlier a boat pulled up behind me and anchored up behind me it happened to be someone who I used to take out fishing often but is no longer welcome on my boat due to information and me specifically asking him not to spot burn one location which I was told through many people that he had given the information out. Also saw him picking fish out of the location loading him onto another boat. Uh, so that was his daughter. He must have saw my antenna up and was checking channels to see if he can get any intel. I'm pretty sure he's the one guy who keeps clicking the thumbs down on all my videos right away when they're posted. Still watches them though. Pretty ridiculous. Big? That yeah. sounds good. That sounds really good. That uh, dude, easy, don't high stick it. I know, but you can lose them that way. I'm coming, hold on, take him slow. Clash, baby. It's a nice one. Don't bring him out of the water. Bring him up to the there you go. Perfect. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. It's seven pounds. Right, it's like six six point eight. Seven. Good fish. On my boat, when bigger fish come up, especially when they're females, we usually release them. Uh, anything that's over ten pounds from now on, I'm gonna release, whether it's male or female, unless it's a tournament. There's no need for me to keep that fish. Dude, that's even bigger. That's even bigger. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Give me a second. Take it slow. Take it slow. That's a bigger one. That's probably like eight pounds. By the way, that was reacting. Yeah, it ran off. Keep him, keep him low, dude. You gotta, you gotta stop pulling him out of water. It's all right. Swim him into the net. That's an eight pounder. I was pretty far off with that weight. It was actually just over seven pounds. This fish, but I still had to tease Mark a little bit about the bigger fish coming up on my boat. Come on my boat more often. <laughs>